Okay, so here is your pre-lab slash lab for those of you that are absent for the density of like beverages and stuff. So first thing we're going to do is we need to tear out or zero out the mass of what we're going to use for our little containment thing. Um, just a little 50 mil beaker. It says in the directions to use a 100 mil beaker, but 50 mil is fine. So I'm going to zero that out. And now we need to measure the mass of 10 milliliters of each of our standard solutions. We have distilled water in the little blue squirt bottle. And then we have sugar solutions, 5, 10, 15, and 20%. So to start out, I'm going to start out with my least concentrated sugar solution, which is, of course, the distilled water. Because as I increase in concentration, that means I don't have to clean my graduated cylinder. So anything that saves me time is a good thing. So I'm just going to fill this little guy up with 10 milliliters. Knock some of those bubbles loose. Yeah, they're not going to come loose. So we'll be a little bit off, a little bit lower than we should be in our measurements. This should be fine. All right. So here's 10 milliliters of distilled water. That 10 milliliters of distilled water has a mass of, hey, not bad, 9.87. So we're going to put that into our table. Throw it over here, 9.87 grams. <clears throat> now we can dump that down the sink because we don't need it anymore. And move on to our 5% sugar solution. Again, 10 milliliters. I don't need to rinse this out because all I had in it before was distilled water. So I'm going to get 10 milliliters. Turn this where y'all can see it. 10 milliliters. Right about there. Well, that make sure it zeroes out. It did not, so I need to hit zero again. And then pour it in there. And this one has a mass of 10.61 grams. Pour that one out. Now I move on to the 10% sugar solution. This is 10% sugar, 90% water. Oh, did I overshoot it? Yep. I overshot it just a little bit, so I'm going to pour some of it back in. There we go. All right. Put it on. Probably going to have to zero it out again. Dump my 10% sugar solution. And I get 10.39. This is a little bit of an anomaly here. My math should have continued to go up. I'm thinking I must have overshot this volume. That's why we get lots of points whenever we're going to be making a line graph. So that if we do have an outlier, you know, something where maybe our lab technique wasn't as great as it should have been, it doesn't skew our results too badly. So 10 milliliters again. I'm gonna check this one a little more closely. All right, zero it out. 10.73. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the 20 mil. solution. Okay. Zero it out. Twenty percent solution has a mass of ten or eleven point three five. These are our standard solutions. So what you would do now is you would take these numbers, the mass and the volume, and you would divide one by the other to figure out the density of the solution. Should be pretty easy because density equals mass over volume, and all of our volumes were 10 milliliters. Um, so all you got to do is plug that in. Density should start out right around 1 and then go up from there. And then you're going to need to graph that density, the density versus solution concentration on a line graph and use it as a comparison for your test solutions. So you would pick two test solutions, whatever you want. And I, now I am going to rinse out my little beaker and my graduated cylinder in between. 
and I'm going to do the exact same procedure with my two test solutions. So the red that I have is every five-year-old's favorite beverage, Kool-Aid. Get 10 milliliters of it. No, you don't want to drink the beverages that are in this lab today. Mostly because you never drink something that's in a lab, but you also never know what was in the containment device before you got a hold of it. All right, so this one has a mass, 10 milliliters, has a mass of 10.66. Ah, Y'all can write that down. And I'm gonna rinse it out and do the next test solution, which is smelling really yummy right now, uh, grape soda. So same thing, 10 mils, very boring procedure to watch on a video. I know, I'm sorry. You should have been here for this lab. All right, measuring that out. Zero this guy out before I start. Here we go. And on this one, we have a mass of 10.25. Now, what you would do with the masses of these two solutions is you would then take the mass divided by the volume of 10 milliliters, figure out its density, and then use the graph that you drew with the standard solutions to figure out the sugar concentration of your two unknowns. Then uh, you can use the nutritional data to actually calculate the sugar content of your beverages and then uh, do a percent error comparison, which I will show you how to do in another video. So that's all we got. Y'all have a great night.